across the workshop, the motor of the 1930s vibraphone has been sent off for an electrical upgrade, while Pete tackles decades of dirt on the metal parts. Right, these are resonators of the vibe, one of the most important parts, both acoustically and look-wise. And we always like to look down the tubes to make sure there's nothing nasty lurking. Oh, they're pretty filthy, so we'll have to clean them out, otherwise they affect the sound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try starting to buff them up a bit. We just leave an oil lamp wicking to go around the tube with a bit of chrome cleaner. It's a bit time consuming, but it's worth every hour you spend on it. The vibe's got to be presentable as well as sound good. The electric motor is very important to a vibraphone. That's what drives it and makes it go wom, 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 wom. The box here to take the wire was 1950 specs. It wasn't up to today specs, so we've got a little box on, nice little on-off switch. Job sorted. Next job to do is the felt on the damper bar. This goes up and down and does a very important job of stopping the sound from the note. That's down. As it comes up, it will just touch the bar and stop it resonating. A layer of tissue will protect the newly buffed tubes from what's to come. Right, it's all ready for spraying with some contact adhesive. Away we go. I'm afraid once it's on there, you don't get a second chance. And now we just trim the length and hopefully everything looks fine. Right, and now we just pop it in. Connecting up the bar again. Then we just double check. That's where the note will sit. Just touches the note, lifts it up a little bit, completely dampens it. Very happy. Pete's headed outside to complete the last big job, giving all of the metal tone plates a polished finish. These notes, as you can see, are looking pretty horrible. We're now going to polish them, which is actually a form of grinding. So we're going to polish them up so they all become nice and shiny. Some people will say that it makes them sound brighter. I'm not 100% convinced of that but we've got to go careful on it. We can't get every dig out, because if we do, we start detuning the note and making life awkward. Right, we're going to change mops now, a much softer mop, and we're going to use a different polish, less grit in it. If they see the difference, it's a little bit, uh, little bit nicer and cleaner, isn't it? Only another 35 to go. 